Oh man, clear as day diamond back. Yeah. One step closer. This is a black racer. These guys are literally everywhere here in Florida. Guess what, Jeff? Jill found a diamond back. Yellow. You're a mud snake. Shut up. That's really cool. guys we are currently out walking around looking for diamondbacks need it to warm up a little bit but we're doing what we can we got our lenses we got our cameras and we have our fingers crossed hoping this trip is worth it find of the trip within a few seconds he's uh it's a it's a very cold stink pot it's a stink pot and it is alive it is alive i it's i mean very it's just doesn't want to play where are you going <laughs> First find. Pretty cool. But sad. Very interesting. We were just walking this water's edge and Jeff's like, that's a that's a that's a turtle. First snake of the day. Nice, I have not seen one in hand before, so. Yeah, I'm broke. Right on. Woo! You're a little grumpy already, huh? Whoa. Yeah, he's he's uh bitey. Woo. Ow, fetch. Oh, don't disappoint <laughs> So this is an icon here in Florida. Oh, he's looking at me. This is a black racer. These guys are literally everywhere here in Florida. Last time I was here, uh, Dr. Driggs and I saw a lot of them. We really did. Never filmed them because why? They were freaking fast. These snakes are zippy, zippy, zippy snakes. He's got a really cute little face. Look at that. He's got that classic white chin that these black racers have. Really black, sleek scales here at the bottom and then really shiny, nice black on the top. These guys are rodent eaters and lizard eaters. They are opportunistic feeders, which means that they will really chow on whatever they can get. Sometimes you'll find them eating other snakes. They'll eat frogs, they'll eat toads, lizards, really anything they could get those teeth on. Um, but these typically are pretty grumpy snakes but are entirely harmless. Um, they are a colubrid, um, very harmless snake, no venom. If you get bit by these guys, they will probably draw some blood. In fact, they have some blood prick right there from him munching on me a little bit, but as long as you get it cleaned up, wipe it up, make sure there's nothing in there. Just like any cut you get, make sure it doesn't get infected. Other than that, these snakes are totally harmless. We're gonna go put him back on the sand bank over here where he was basking and leave him to it. So let's keep looking for some more snakes. Look at the way his scales shine like that. They're so cool. Such impressive little snakes. Look at that. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna put him right here. It's nice and warm right here actually. So he's literally so cold. So cold. All right, so that's a good sign. Here's a, a, a Diamondback shed skin. That's really cool. Look at that. You can see Sweet. Diamonds, look at that. That's a great shed. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Okay, so that was like really quick, but I'm out there, Burke's taking pictures of that racer, and I got this coach whip. Pretty freaking awesome coach whip, too. It's pretty big. All right, Jeff just got a coach whip. Oh, dude! So, it was. Just I got it from, I saw it from like way out there, right? Yeah. And it was just kind of creeping, didn't know I was there. And it was still creeping. And its head went into a bush and it was just forging. And I was just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and it didn't know I was there until I picked it up because it was all limp. And all of a sudden I grabbed it and it was like, <laughs> Dude, that's a nice whip, dude. It is. Dude, that's good looking. It really is. Well, and I know it's windy as all get out, so you can't hear me very well. But, um, you know, 
this was such a last minute trip to Florida. We didn't get a ton of time to like research the natural history of a lot of the animals. But what I will say about these um, like colubrids, these racer like animals is they're very, very opportunistic feeders. Feeding on reptiles, um, rodents, birds, everything that they can get their hands on or their lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this beautiful snake. And guess what? It hasn't bit me yet. That's so. something for a coach with. That's yeah, one thing that might be a little different than the ones we have, huh? No, it was biting. Was it? It, it just didn't get me. You're just a ninja. Yeah. Nice. I just, I just whispered it. Right on. Look at that. Gorgeous snake. Awesome. Nice. Woo. So here's the, the snake shed I found. Nice. Here. Here. Oh man. Clear as day, Diamondback. Yeah. Nice. One awesome. step closer. Check out that snake. Woohoo! That is a good looking whip, dude. And it is a chunky one at that. Nice looking snake. Nice job, Jeff. Thank you. You're so. <laughs> we are weird people. I hope you guys have caught that up at this point. Guess what, Jeff? Jill found a diamondback. You ready for this, Jeff? Yep. For some diamondback action? All right, Jeffrey is just doing the most amazing thing right now, and that is photoing this absolutely massive, absolutely massive Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. We saw evidence of them, and now we have one sitting right in front of us, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. Really, really cool. Our very first, both mine and Jeff's lifer, Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. All right, guys, I apologize you're not getting any fancy segment with this animal here, but it is sitting in an area where we don't want to disturb it, just like we can if at all possible. The snake is massive. I wish I could give you a better idea, but this snake truly is a remarkable animal. Jeffrey's taking some more pictures of it over there, but really, really cool. Dude, this sand is miserable. Look at that, especially for camera stuff. It's a nightmare. This stuff will get into every little crack of your camera. Let's go find some more snakes. Good sign. All right, guys, check this out. We got, it is a Florida cotton mouth. Very pretty looking. He's doing his classic gaping. He's very skinny. Holy crap. I'm gonna shade it. Woo! It's not very healthy, is it? No, that it is not. Check that out. That is a nice little cotton mouth. The day is looking up. We're getting some snake action here. That's pretty cool. Right on. Super healthy, isn't no, it? he's not. Well, that cotton mouth looks pretty rough, but uh, we got it within the first 10 minutes of this other spot out of the car. But with it looking that rough, you wonder if it's just a snake that's desperate to be out even in the cold. So the turtle. Oh, he's munching on something. It's getting dark and it's cold. Very cold. We're able to knock off another reptile, though. What just freaking happened, dude? There's a corn snake on the fridge. Look. What the heck? It's freezing. Anything else? Not really. No. Oh, we do have that though. <gasps> no way! Did you get it? It was up on the top of the bridge. No way! It was just going through a crack. Oh my god! <laughs> no way! Shut up! Isn't that crazy? Oh my god, look at that! Hey! Yeah. Lizards and. Oh man. Isn't that crazy? You guys it's played most... that off well, really well. Alright, guys, there you go. It turned around for us. It was getting really cold. It still is pretty cold. Like we're sniffing, sniffling over here. It's really cold. We picked a pretty cold time to come down here, but it's producing for us. All right, well, speaking of weird things, after that corn snake, the parked car, there is a, there is a turtle. There's just another stink pot. little stink pot under there. <laughs> What's up, little stink pot? Here, in fact, we're gonna grab you with the corn snake and you guys are gonna be friends. You guys both musk, so you guys are practically the same. Sam. Look at that. No, no, I didn't. 
wild. That's awesome. Turtle Just so turtle and <laughs> doodle doodle. And both finds were very strange. Yeah. <laughs> what do you? Everybody what do we have under car? our car? Yeah. You get a herb. Hey, you get a herb. <laughs> the snake everybody knows about. Corn snake. Red rat snake. Whatever you want to call it. Just getting ready for photos. Follow if you do. We're just going to walk around here. Okay. Find more. Cool. Find a yellow rat. All right. It's on it. It's not going to sit well. Because it's a rat snake. Because it's a freaking rat snake. Yeah, a mud Jeff, snake. You just got a mud snake. A corn snake and a mud snake. Dude, you did not just get a mud snake. No joke. Here. Hey, can you guys hear me? Are you kidding me right now? What just happened? What just happened? I don't know. Dude, that's really cool. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me right now? We, we were taking pictures of the corn snake and just stood up and turned around and said there's a mud Are you kidding me, dude? That is, that did not just happen. You just got a mud snake in the parking lot while photoing. What is tonight? Yellow. You got a mud snake. Shut up. Oh dude. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so this is a first for you guys, right? Yes. Yeah. Alive. Oh, no way. How did this happen? What is I don't know what, what is going on? I, <laughs> I don't oh, understand. All right, everybody. So here is the mud snake. And this is not something that we like fully anticipated on seeing on this trip because they're not very commonly found by just anybody, particularly like us who's out of state and don't know what the heck we're doing out here. But look at this beautiful snake and it's large too, and that beautiful belly. So these guys are very, very, very um, aquatic or water loving. They spend a lot of time in the water, a lot of time in the mud. They eat amphibians. The amphiuma is one of their favorite things to eat. But that tongue flicking, it's kind of cool out, so it's kind of slow, sluggish. Really, really smooth. And for a lot of aquatic, like strictly aquatic snakes that you'll find um, in these types of areas or like, you know, in the in Central South America, very, very smooth, tight scales. It's kind of like, um, like a wetsuit. So, you know, you don't get a bunch of crud or anything in the scales. Very, very smooth and it allows them to move through the mud and the water nicely. I love their orange chin or their bright yellow chins and really small eyes too. Yeah. I mean, they're just it's bizarre looking, eyes. really bizarre looking. So, and I mean, the backstory behind this is absolutely insane. You guys saw it happen. What? There was this guy watching us freak out. Like we, he was here when it happened. He was taking pictures of stars and just heard us freak out. And he actually got distracted enough with the snake that he's like, oh man, my stars are gone. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get, get his star picture. Yeah, he didn't get his star <laughs> pictures. We were all just kind of really amused by this snake. I mean, this is, Absolutely insane. All right, you about ready to let this guy go? Yeah, my leg's cramping. Car! All right. Oh, no. <laughs> she's All right. doing it. She's, doing she's it. She's doing it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, sweet baby. Here we go. Mud snake is going. Wait, wait, you're going the wrong way, baby girl. Oh, where are you going? Oh, she's going to just burrow. Uh -oh. Yeah, well, it's doing something, so we'll just leave it again. <laughs> Mud. Well, there we go. Mud snake in the mud. Look at that. Muddy, muddy. Goodbye, my friend. We did it. Awesome. We did it. <laughs> that was out of this world. That's just ridiculous. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> it is the end of a long but productive day. We ended up driving way south. We have driven about five hours to a new location. And uh, we are very tired. We have now showered and we are ready for bed. And that concludes today's video and we have more to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we're gonna be right back at it first thing in the morning. So you can sure as heck bet we're going to be seeing some more stuff. It was a shorter trip, but we are working our butts off to see what we can find while we're here. So we'll see how it goes. All right, peace out. <laughs> right on, dude. Right on. Dude. You made it happen. You made it happen. Nice, dude. In the middle of.
there's the parking, parking lot. <laughs> there's the parking lot. And there's this little pit that the M Fuma was in. Like, what? No.